Do you have an Unraid server which only has one GPU inside? And do you run multiple VMs with pass-through on that same server? And do you want to be able to swap over to another VM without using another computer or device? Well, then this video is for you. Hi there guys and so welcome to another video. Now normally at the end of my videos I thank all of my Patreons and supporters. But I was thinking maybe they don't listen to the very end of the video and they stop before the end. So I thought today I want to thank all of my Patreons and supporters, everyone who helped support this channel and make these videos possible. I want to give you a really big thanks and a big shout out right at the start of the video. Okay, so with that done, let's start. Okay, so here I am on my main server and I've got a bunch of containers running and this Mac OS VM. Now if we go to the VMs tab here, here's that VM running. Now I want to start up this Windows 10 VM. Now if I go and look inside the template and look at my graphics card, I've only got one graphics card in this server. Now if I want to start up the Windows 10 VM, obviously I can't because the Mac VM is using the same GPU. If I try to do it, it's going to tell me that the graphics card is being used by the Mac VM. So yeah, of course I could shut down the Mac OS VM, grab my laptop or grab my cell phone, then log into the server and start it up. But what if I don't want to do that? What if I want to do it directly from here, from the VM that I'm working on, and basically just press a button and have the other VM start up without having to do anything with any other devices. Because even if you've got another laptop or something else to start up the other VM with, it's really a pain in the butt to have to do it. Especially if you're super lazy just like I am. But it's easy to set this up and only takes about 5 minutes of work. So let's make a start and do this. So to do this we're going to use a script. So let's go to the apps tab and install user scripts. So I'm going to click on the arrow to install and now with that installed if I go to settings here and now under user utilities I've got a new icon user scripts I'm going to click onto that and by default there are a few scripts already in here I'm actually going to delete these because I don't actually need them and so now I'm going to make a new script and I'm going to call this one start windows 10 and I'm going to click OK. So now what I need to do is move the mouse and hover over the name of the script and now click on Edit Script. And now we can make the script to start up Windows 10. Now the first thing I want this script to do is to wait 30 seconds. So I'm going to type in sleep space 30. So that will mean it will wait 30 seconds before going on to the next step. So for the next step we're going to put in a command which is going to start up the Windows 10 VM. And the command we're going to use is the varish command. We're going to use varish start and then the name of the VM. So on the next line, let's type varish start. And now I need to put in the name of the VM. So I'm going to go along and open up the VMs tab in a new tab in my browser. And here's my Windows 10 VM here. So I'm going to click onto it and click edit. And then it's going to copy out the name here. Yeah, I could have easily just typed it in, but if the name was a bit more complicated, it may be easier just to copy and paste it. And notice there's a space between the Windows and the 10. Now, because there's a space in the name, I'm going to put it in quotations. And that's it, that's all we need. So a really simple script. What it's going to do is it's going to wait 30 seconds and then it's going to start Windows 10. So the plan is, as soon as I run the script, I'm going to shut down the VM that I'm on now, and the VM should shut down during the time the script's waiting that 30 seconds, and then after that 30 seconds, the VM I'm on now will be fully shut down, and then the script will start up Windows 10, and it will work absolutely fine. So anyway, I'm going to save the changes. Now when we run the script, it's very, very important that we run the script in the background by clicking on this button here. When we run the script in the background, it doesn't matter if we close the page, the script will keep running regardless. Because obviously, when I shut down this VM, it's going to shut down the whole browser and so the page will be closed. So it's important the script will continue running even though the browser and the page is closed. So let's click on Run in Background now. And with the script running, let's click on Done. And then let's shut this VM down. 
Now I'm speeding up the video here so we don't have to wait the full 30 seconds before the next part of the script starts. Okay, so now the script is starting up Windows 10 and we can see the VM booting here. Okay, so now we're booted up into Windows, so we've swapped from one VM to the other without using any other machine. So booted up now in the Windows VM, I'm back on the Unraid dashboard. So I'm going to go back to settings and user scripts, and now I'm going to make a new script. This one I'm going to call start Mac OS. And I'm just going to go to the VMs tab again and just grab the name of this VM here. And now I'm going to edit this script. So again, we're going to have to have the pause at the start, so I'm going to put sleep 30. Now if you wanted to have that time longer, just put the time in seconds that you want to have it. 30 I've found is fine for me. And now the line to start up the VM using Vrish start space. And then in speech marks, I'm going to paste in the name of that other VM, the Mac OS VM. Now I'm just going to click on save changes to save the script. Okay, so now I've got two scripts here. One one to start up Mac OS and one to start up Windows 10. Now I'm going to go across to the Apps tab again and I'm just going to install another plugin called Custom Tab. So I'm just going to do a search for Custom and then install a Custom Tab plugin. And again I'm going to go to Settings now. And then now under User Utilities I've got this icon Custom Tab. So now I'm going to click on Add another tab and here where it says Custom URL or Built-in Page I'm going to choose Built-in Page. And now under select a page file, I'm going to go down to near the bottom here and choose user scripts. And for the tab name, I'm going to call it change VMs and click apply and done. And so now because I'm lazy and I don't like going through settings and then to user scripts, I can just click on change VMs and then click on the run in background on the Mac OS VM script and then shut down the Windows VM. Then we just have to wait for that 30 seconds to pass and the Mac OS VM will then start up and then we're back into the Mac OS VM. So that's it, that's how you can swap over from one VM to another on an Unraid server where you've only got one GPU which you pass through. Okay guys, so I hope you found that video useful or if it wasn't useful, at least a bit interesting. If you liked it then please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So as I've already thanked my patrons at the beginning of the video, it's time for me to go. Stay safe guys and I'll catch you in the next video.